Hello everybody, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I'm happy that you decided to stop by. I was perusing the internet lately and uh, there's just a lot of things about diversity and inclusion and you know, teams that are hiring white females and they're like, diversity, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, and then you have those other groups where, you know, maybe there's only one person of color on the entire team and that's it. There's no women, there's just one person, one male person of color. And people are also like, diversity and I'm like stop that there's a thing um, that is basically hiring to kind of fit a diversity rule and it's not great it also doesn't feel great when you're the person that's being hired as I as a diversity hire I know as someone who is a black woman in technology, a lot of times I have those feelings of, was I the diversity hire? Especially when there may not be any other women on the team or there's no more uh, people of color at all on the team. And I'm just like, wait, what? Um, and so it's, it's frustrating a lot of times. And you start getting that imposter syndrome that sparks up when you look around and, and you so you start questioning things and you start questioning your ability and it sucks it's bad and it starts affecting your work and it's no fun um and let me tell you that for those who are outside of that world don't know that world never seen that world you fit in with everything i mean that's great for you but there are plenty of people in this industry that don't feel like they belong in this industry. They feel like they don't have anything in common with anybody in this industry. Um, I'll be the first to tell you, like a lot of times I join teams and a lot of people, they want to talk about like games and stuff. And I don't play games. I'm sorry to tell you this little fact, but I typically don't play games. Um, and I'm specifically talking about games on the computer and stuff. I, I haven't done that in forever. And even if I was playing games on the computer when I was younger, it was literally playing Family Feud through a CD-ROM disc. <laughs> so it's like, does that count? I don't know. Um, and so what I just wanted to come on here and say was just like, it's not easy. So if you're the person that, you're the not the diversity hire, um, and you're just like living your best life or whatever. I just want you to have a little empathy for the people that are on the team that may not look like you. So if you could just take one second and just be like, you know what, this person doesn't look like me and I wonder what they're into. And don't automatically assume what you're into and what most of the people on the team are into is what they're into. So just keep that little factoid in mind as you kind of, you know, continue your journey through this tech field, this tech space and navigating it. It's hard for some people. Um, and I tell you, I have lots of days where I'm like, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm here. Am I sure? Like, was, am I supposed to be here? Is this a joke? Is this a joke? or y'all gonna fire me soon. A little story for you. I was um, on a team and literally I, the day I joined, there is a black female leaving and she wasn't on my team, but she was within the company. Time passed on and you know I noticed that there was at least another uh, one person of color in the company. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And so I, I I began to notice. I looked around and I'm like, wait a minute. There's me and another person and we look the same and only one of us is in the tech field. And it just it gave me a very big perspective of what this world could be, like what this is. And it's like, that's how it, that's, that's it. You're literally, as a person of color, specifically if you're a black person, you're literally the only one in a whole pot of people and you're just like, 
that's when, like I said, doubt, imposter syndrome, all that stuff creeps in. And it's tough. Um, and I, I, I'd like to tell you there's a way to manage it, but there's, there's not, to my understanding, like a very good way to manage it. The only thing I could say is like, if you are that person of color and you find that you're alone, look, listen, there are so many people that look like you and me, you know? We're just kind of scattered around, right? We're not all in one place. We're kind of all over the place. And there's a lot of people that they may not be like specifically developers, but they could be entrepreneurs in the tech space. And there's a lot of us too in that tech space. And that's amazing to see. Um, one thing that's kind of kept me like grounded during this whole thing of like noticing that I'm the only one so I started looking up other um, success stories online. I'm like, who are the other people that are like doing some dope stuff and like they look like me, right? And they're achieving these big things, right? And they're doing these big goals and they have these big things that they wanted to accomplish. And I looked around and I noticed that there's a lot of people out there that are successful in their own right. There's a lot of people um, on Twitter. There's a lot of people just not on Twitter, right? <laughs> in the real world, if you will, on at meetups and stuff like that. And so it's important to kind of keep that group around you. And I wrote, uh, I mean, wrote, I did a video on Blacks and Tech Resources a while ago, and I'll link that above, but I just wanted you to know that you're not alone. It's tough. Um, when you are the only one at your organization and you feel like maybe you were, you know, targeted as this is the person of color that we're going to hire, that diversity hire that we've been looking for. And I say, how do you handle that? You know, if you have some great ways of handling, handling that, please let us know below because I'm still learning too. Like, do you, do you say anything? Right? What did I do when I, when I saw that, you know, Hey, there's, that many people here that look like me, like, what do I do? I, what do you, what can you do? The only thing you can do is that if you know your organization is hiring people and it's a good organization, it's not crap. You like working there. You just wish there were more people that looked like you, right? So if you're in that specific position and your company is hiring other people, Let's find some other people that look just like you and bring them on board. Or let's find some other people that are gonna believe in the same uh, values and the same uh, things that you believe in, all right? And listen, I know it's hard, especially if you're not the person hiring for that, for that new position, right? But it's, it's pretty simple to go on your company's website and you know see who, what positions they're hiring for. So if you decide to go on your company's website and you know kind of find open positions and you know hey fill them to those groups of people that you've met, right? So that's why it's important to go out and meet other people. Uh, like I said, there's a video that I have. I'll like I said I linked it. I'll link it below and I, of course it's linked above. But for real, if you have anything like that, share that same kind of odd space like how to navigate that like we all have to rally together and figure out how we're gonna kind of change the face of what this tech industry is known to be like it's not gonna happen overnight i already tried <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> no but for real it's not gonna happen overnight and we definitely need everyone we need allies that are very much interested in hiring people of color not because they need somebody of of color but but because they have they interviewed this person they're like you know what they have the skill set that we need and we want to extend to them an offer you know so it's all about allies and then you have the people that are uh also in it and the people that are in it it's hard i feel for you i know it's, it's tough, but the best thing to do is just kind of keep going. Um, and again, I know a lot of times we question like, why are we here? If we should be here and those sorts of things, but don't let that doubt like 
suck you in. Like I said, there's so many great people. Please follow them on Twitter, figure out where they are online, connect with them in different spaces. And I know some people are just like, man, if I meet somebody or if I see somebody doing something great and you know, I want to ask them a question, they're not going to answer my message. You'd be surprised. Okay. I reached out to a few people on Twitter just because I'm like, Hey, they're doing cool stuff. And that's something that's, that's interesting to me. And so I just reach out, you know, they'll answer. They will. If they're really interested in helping others in, um, kind of just like, they're involved in this industry as well. They want you to become more involved in this industry too, because then we have more people that look like you and I. So if you find those people that, that are uh, people of color doing great things, don't be afraid to reach out to them and be like, Hey, what's up? Want to go have coffee? Assuming they're in your area and you know, meet up or whatever. And it's perfectly fine to do that. Um, just connect with other people. And I know that sounds like, so like, lame it's like oh connecting with people tiffany that's all you got for me that's all you got and it's like all right hold on calm down relax so <laughs> it's like you've got to take it a step at a time like i said if you've got a better way if you've got something else that you know works then hey let's hear it below i'm here for it like let's let's talk about this um because there's plenty of people that want to help the initiative of diversity and then there's people that are already in the spectrum of like hey i'm that person of color that feels alienated from my uh, co-workers and stuff like that and it's it's hard to want to be a part of something when you already don't look like what everybody else looks like and it's you know for some people of color you know maybe it's not a big problem but for others it's a it's a big deal so like i said if you've got tips leave them below if you've got advice for people leave that below as well if you like this message make sure to like uh, this video and if you also want to start conversations on twitter instagram follow me below at the links and i will see you soon all right thank you all for watching i definitely appreciate it